friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to make a super simple scrunchie. For this project, you're going to need some yarn. I'm using this Karen Pantone Beautiful Bamboo. It's got a lovely luster to it, and I think it'll be perfect for this project. This is about a number four weight yarn. You'll also need a crochet hook. I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook today. You're also going to need a sturdy hair elastic. I recommend these thick ones over these thin ones, just because the amount of stretch that we want and the strength for the elastic, it's better to go with a thick, sturdy elastic. But if you've only got these thin ones on hand, you could definitely use them. I would just say double up. Use two elastics or even three of them together to create that sturdiness that we're looking for for a scrunchie. You're also going to need some scissors as well as a yarn needle to weave in the ends. So gather your supplies and let's do it. We're gonna begin today by inserting the hook into the middle of the hair elastic. Then I'm going to wrap the yarn around the hook and pull the loop up through the hair elastic just like this. Then I'm gonna yarn over with both pieces, the tail and the working yarn, and I'm going to pull that through the loop that we created on the hair elastic. From here, I'm going to drop the tail and then I am going to chain two. Chain one chain two. Now we're going to start double crocheting all the way around this elastic. So I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to insert the hook underneath the entire hair elastic, yarn over again and pull up that loop around the hair elastic. Then I'm going to yarn over again, pull through two of the loops on the hook, yarn over again and pull through the remaining two loops. And I'm also crocheting over the tail at this point. And I am just going to double crochet into the elastic as I am doing right now until I fill up the entire hair elastic. If your elastic is larger than mine, that may take more stitches. For mine, I think we should be full right around 50 stitches. 49 and 50. So here is my hair elastic covered now in double crochets. I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of my chain two from that first stitch, just to join my round. And then I'm going to chain two, chain one, chain two. Now in between each double crochet stitch, I am going to do two double crochet stitches. So in the space between each stitch, I'm gonna put two double crochets. So first, right here, there's one, and there's two. And you can stretch out the stitches on the hair elastic so that you can see in between them. It might make it a little bit easier for you. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to put two double crochets in each of the stitches all the way around. This is gonna create a little ruffle on the scrunchie. Here I am coming up to the end of round number two, and you can already see that ruffle starting to form. It is so cute. And the great thing about this method for scrunchie making is you can stop here if you just need something covering your elastic to add a little pop of fun to it. You could finish it here. Obviously, I'm not going to be finishing it here because I need it more whimsical, but you definitely could because that's already a pretty cute hair scrunchie. But since we are going over the top in all things, I'm going to put my last double crochet into round two, and then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain two we started the row with, and then I'm gonna chain two to start round three. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to do increased stitches. So I'm gonna put two double crochets everywhere where I have an increase. Let me zoom you in. You can see my first stitch here is not an increase. And then these two stitches are coming out of the same spot. So right here, we'll put two double crochets. And then here, there is no increase. So we'll just put one double crochet. And then the next two stitches are coming out of the same spot. So we'll put two double crochets in there. Let's start round three. So for the first stitch, since there is no increase coming out there, we're gonna just put one double crochet into the first stitch. Now in the second stitch, 
it is an increase from the previous row. There's two double crochets. So I'm going to put two double crochets in there. One and two. And like I said previously, the next stitch is not an increase. So I'm just gonna put one double crochet in there. And then into the following stitch, which is an increase, you can see two double crochets are coming out of the same spot. I'm gonna put two double crochets into there. There's one and there's two. And in the next stitch, it's not an increase. So I'm just gonna put one double crochet. And in the next stitch, two double crochets. And after that, just one double crochet. And in the next stitch, two double crochets. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around for round number three. And that's going to create a little bit more of an increase without having it become overly ruffled. This is just going to sort of continue the ruffle at its current trajectory. So I'm gonna zoom through this part and I will see you at the end of round number three. Here I am coming up to the end of round number three and you can see the ruffle is really sh taking shape now. It's looking really <laughs> whimsical and pretty cute, I should say. And I'm just gonna put my last double crochet into the, um, the last stitch and then I'm going to slip stitch to join the round. You can see at this point the ruffle is really starting to take shape. Because we've been doing those increases we've got this excess of fabric towards the outside. So the first round was 50 stitches. The second round we did two double crochets in each stitch so we ended up with a hundred stitches. For the third round we did a double crochet and then two double crochets, a double crochet and two double crochets. So we end up with 150 stitches in round number three. Let's move on to round number four. We're gonna begin round number four with a chain of two, chain one, chain two. Then in the first two stitches, as you can see, they're not increases. We've got our first increase at stitch number three. We're gonna put double crochets, one in each of those stitches. So I'll do one double crochet in the first stitch, and one double crochet in the second stitch. Now at the third stitch, we've got an increase. So we're gonna be putting two double crochets in here, but I'm gonna do a chain of three in between my double crochets. So I'm gonna put a double crochet into that stitch and then I'll chain three, one, two, and three. And then I'm going to put a double crochet into that same stitch again. This is going to create a cute little ruffle or a cute little frill on the outside of the project. Now, in the next two stitches, I'll do double crochets. There's one and there's two. And now in the next stitch, it's another increase. We've got two double crochets coming out of the same space. So I'm going to do a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. There's chain one, chain two, chain three, and then another double crochet into the same stitch. Now in the next two stitches, I'll do one double crochet in each stitch. There's one and there's two. And now in that next stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet, chain three, and then another double crochet. And that I'm going to repeat all the way around until I get back to the beginning of round number four. All right, here I am coming up to the end of my fourth and final round on this project. And this thing is looking so cute. I'm gonna put my last double crochet into that stitch. And then we're finishing off this round with a chain of three. So there's one, two, and three. And now I'm gonna join to the top of the chain two that we started the round with. I'm gonna join that with a slip stitch. And then I'm just going to trim my yarn and I'm going to yarn over one more time and pull my loop through. Now I'm gonna take my yarn needle and I'm gonna weave in this end. All right, and now that that end is secure, I'm just gonna trim that down so we don't have any Thing showing and check this out. This is my favorite way to make a scrunchie. It is so easy and so quick. I mean, it's only four rounds. And because we did those little chain threes, in between our increases on the last row, we get this sort of pico sort of energy, you know, a little ruffle, a little extra frill around our final round. And since we did 50 stitches in the initial round, you can stretch out the elastic all the way and there's still lots of room with our stitches. Let me show you with this hair elastic what this scrunchie looks like when it's being used. 
Ta-da! Here is the final scrunchie. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you're gonna be making a cute little scrunchie like this as well. I think this is a great way to customize your hair wear and to make it just a little more jazzy. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked this one. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. It really does help the channel grow and we are on the way to get to 100,000 subscribers. So I would really appreciate if you could click that like button. Also, I just wanna say a shout out thank you to everyone supporting the channel right now. Here's the list of everybody supporting the channel this month. Thank you guys so much. If you're interested in showing your support, check out the links in the description down below. Along with those links, I will also link all relevant tutorials for this so that if you're new to crochet, you can find everything that you need down in that description. Anyways, friends, that's all I've got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next week. Bye!